Hello and welcome to NHF TV. We're going to kick this week's episode off in western Pennsylvania. The younger kids are on a dove hunt and it doesn't take long for the action to pick up, so let's see what happens. Jim, hmm. we're trying to hunt here. I like hold on. Is it canceled over here? Yeah, it's up, up a little ways. Yeah. Alright, keep talking. Shot. All of a sudden, all I see is with feathers. Good. Yep. Yep. Four point buck. Was he sneezing or what? Sounds like he was like clapping or something. <laughs> you... That's probably what I told you it was. No, oh, he was laying right there. We walked all the way down around him and he stood up. Nice back air somewhere. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. Hmm. That was a weird sound. I thought it was a bear at first. Wait, wait, wait. Shoot him whenever. Hey, with that gun. You can pull it right there. Nope, oh, that's not one. Never mind. With that gun, you can pull the trigger twice, okay. and it'll shoot twice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good job. Shot. Where'd you aim at him at? Like, it was right here. Right here. He, he flinched whenever you shot. Yeah. I think we should just hang out here for a little while. Yeah. It's called the dead rest sling. You use it like a normal sling. Throw it over your shoulder when you're walking through the woods, go into your stand, or just on the way out. And you can use it like so to shoot in the prone or off a bench or even off your knee if need be. And if you want, you can use it like a normal sling. And they work great. If you want, want to look at one, you can get it at StandoutGear.com. Hello everyone, Glenn Runner here from Lure Lipstick. Today I'd like to go over a couple of our products with all of you. We uh, have two liquid bottles here, an 8 ounce and a 4 ounce. We also have a chapstick. 
Our bottles here are enhancement to what we use to infuse our plastics. We also spray them onto our lures and our crankbaits. Our wax form is a wax form that we apply onto our baits while we're trolling and while we're jigging. This is highly efficient for ice fishing, which the season is upon us. If you want to reach out and if you're interested, please contact us on Facebook, Lure Lipstick, or you can reach us at our webpage, LureLipstick.com. Hope you all get bit. One's over there. Right there. It's gone. There's there's right, more. There's four. Four. Three shells. Right there. Right here. Oh, there you go. Hey, huh? hang on. It's still alive. Is it? Yep. Let's see. Is that your first dove? Yep. I'm carrying the groceries. <laughs> you bought it right out of the tree. Just did a flyby. <gasps> yep, they're still there. Get ready. Here, your dad's got something. That's too far out. Big Frig coolers and tumblers are built with durability in mind. Long lasting, they guarantee excellence. Plus, personalize their products to fit your lifestyle. In other words, they're friggin' awesome. Get a custom logo emblazoned right on your Big Frig for the whole world to see. Add a logo for your business, nonprofit, or fundraiser. Plus, Big Frigs make great gifts for the holidays. At Big Frig, our customers are family, and family comes first. Buy local and let us make a personalized Big Frig perfect for you.
when your hanging bow placement can literally help you reach your goals. Your smallest clicks can sometimes lead to your biggest click. Morph Pro Tree Yarn by Outright Hunting Products. Well, as you can see, the kids found out that dove hunting isn't as easy as it sounds. They're all getting some shooting in, and we even have a few doves on the ground. But they're going to head back out for the evening hunt, so let's see if they can get a couple more doves on the ground before dark. Oh, Nev, hold on a second. You spooked it. They're gone. I got five. There's three. I got a pocket. I got a pocket full. No, it didn't. No. Was it cocked? It wasn't even cocked. It was. It just didn't stay back. Oh. Hey guys. Shoot it. Shoot it. Huh? I don't know which one. False alarm. <laughs> where, where, where are they all at? Oh, another one to the left. I need more for ten. Hey. Okay. Okay. Tyler, what are we doing today? Trying to shoot stuff. Shoot what? Dubs. Dubs. Or geese. Or geese. Whichever one goes in front of us. Coming right here, right here. What? Just kidding. I heard that. you need to go this side up here. Alright, let's get on the table. They're both there waving. <laughs> I hate, I hate four to five days. Why? I hate it. I bet you I can make my 1911 shoot like a 22. This is a red or green. I love that I have almost full service right here. Pretty awesome. Hey, there's two. I thought that was a dog. What the frick? <laughs> Nevin, what's going on? There's deer. Where? There's deer over there. Well, the kids put four or five doves on the ground, and they all got a lot of shooting in. Most importantly, they had fun, and they got to experience something that they hadn't before. If you want more information about NHF, I encourage you to visit our website, nevinshuntingfriends.com. You can find all of our contact info on there. You can see pictures of our previous hunts, and you can find the applications for new hunters and volunteers. So go check it out. Now let's head to Gobbler's Knob Hunting Preserve in Rochester, PA. We're going to be hunting pheasants with Corey. Now Corey just got off of a major leg surgery in the fall of 2017. He missed our annual youth deer hunt and this is going to be his first time out since then. He doesn't quite have his legs under him yet so we had to get creative on how we were going to get Corey to the pheasants. So let's see what happens. Sweet! 
Huh? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Some of these birds might already be plucked before they <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> folk gators are a little yeah. wicked on birds. That's all good. <laughs> Let's go over that one. Yeah. Two gauge punk right gun. there. You can kill the bird. Two gauge punk I don't gun. think you can go lower than the tank. I know you can. Just, and just the habit of nature. <laughs> Even if he's on point, I'll try and get that bird flush, you know, towards you. No promises, but we'll give her a shot. On me. Fire her up. Try to get you like right in the dust. No, 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 no. He was all right. Oh, okay. I know he's there, but he's just back up. That's high enough. You did good. You did good. It's all right. No. You, you, you're all right. I mean, I, I'm just used to, you know, well, that. I don't care about that. <laughs> well, well. It was high enough. Well, oh, yeah. That's all right. But I, I just didn't want, again. you know, starting to get pounded, that's all. Hey, back up. Where were you there? <laughs> Rocky, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it, Rock. Hold it. Hold it. Move up, move up. It's going to go this way. I'm going to make sure it goes this way. Okay. Ready, buddy? Oh. That's all right, you got feathers. No bird, Rock. Actually, it's hit. It's hit. Dead bird, dead bird. You hit it. You got feathers. He doesn't even want to get off the ground. Is he on point? I told him dead bird, so he should bring it. What we're going to do right here, is... Rock. He he's good. He on me. On me. Here it comes, here it comes your bird. Here comes your bird. <laughs> Good boy. Bring it. Hey Rub, I'm gonna walk back over since. Alright. Alright? Yep. Good boy. Good boy. There you go, buddy. And it's a rooster. How's that? Wanna grab him? Hey Corey, look over here. There you go. <laughs> Got enough of them. Oh, nice. That's a real nice one. That's a big one. Come around, Rocky. Yeah, now there's no one to get mounted. Never know. Okay, so we've got to go up that way and then we'll turn around. Well, you want to tell me how far I'm going? 
probably in this thing right at the edge of the field or so. American Sportsmen's for Veterans. We are a 100% nonprofit organization. What we do is we take our veterans out hunting, fishing, hiking, um, anything to get them outside, outdoors, to give them a little bit of R&R, &R, a little bit of stress relief from everyday life. Um, we're 100% nonprofit, funded by you, your donations, business donations, fundraisers. Um, we also have put booths up at various outdoor shows around the state of Michigan. And like always, thank, thank you, you and, and God, God bless. bless. On me, Rock. No bird. No bird. Did you see? He, he missed too. I did too. Yeah, I, I shot. I think started. It landed at the bottom. We'll see what happens. Rock on me. <laughs> as soon as it started to go, it started running that way. Like, really? That was my fault. Sorry. Even though Dave missed quite. <laughs> go ahead. Up one. Well, Rock. Well, Rock. Hold it, Rock. Hold it, buddy. Whoa. 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 Atta boy. Come around. Ready? Hold it, Rock. Ready? Rock! <laughs> Good boy. So what did you, uh, right, you how many times did you shoot? Twice? Yeah. Alright, we're in. Nice shot. Hey guys, hold on. Well, Dave shot and he wiped it out. <laughs> <laughs> but there's that Goldens in here, I think. And that other one. Yeah, there. I think uh, that gold one was right that way. Oh, is that the one in the front? Yeah. Okay, here. Good Cinnamon head. <laughs> getting all the good birds. <laughs> Those goldens will run like an Olympic athlete. This way. What we'll do is, like I said, hop. He can hop on the quad and drive up, and then okay. come back. You know, do a square. Okay. And we'll see if we can find that real quick. Okay, Dave. Nice shot. Hey, thanks. You're on it now. <laughs> oh yeah. He just, like I said, it's very. It's when he hunts with another dog, he gets very competitive. He wants to get the next bird, get the next bird, real anxious. And I think with the quad, he's thinking. But you know, oh, he, he's, I mean, well, he tears it up. If he know. finds this, though, today I think it's wing. On me, Rock. Hey, Dad, I'm just going to stay here. Yep, yep, you just stay right there. Well, I wish Corey was sitting here with me to do the play by play for you, but as you can see, he shook his cabin fever, and those pheasants didn't stand a chance. We want to say thanks to Gobbler's Knob Hunting Preserve. 
the guides and their awesome dogs for everything they do for NHF. They are one of our top supporters and we look forward to going back time and time again. Thanks for watching this week's episode. We hope you'll join us next week as we go deer hunting in western Pennsylvania. As always, take a kid hunting and God bless.